Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Darby's Down in the Texas. As you can see, I'm out in the woods on the logging trail. And uh, heading out to some old home sites. Um, I'm about a mile from where I found the barber quarter and the black barber dime and the silver bowl, spoon bowl, and the coal mine tokens. So we'll probably swing by there. Right now, we're actually looking for another home site, so if I have any luck, I'll get you guys out, and we'll look at them together. See you soon. All right, guys, I got a good hit here on the bank. That sounds like a coin with some good brass. I need that root. I hope you guys can see me. Yeah, I see my hand in the camera. We can have to pop something interesting out. There's a little rivet. Yep. Little tiny copper rivet, guys. See that? Oh, I just dropped it. Well, that's all that was. All right, guys, had a 30-34 for our next target. I'm gonna have us a spoon. This one would have been a silver plated one. Ah, I just cut myself with it. Wow, that sucks. Look at that. Huh? Who would have thought a spoon could cut you? I <laughs> gotta be careful, huh? All right, there it is, folks. First relic of the day. Nice little copper spoon. Alright, see you at the next. Alright, folks. This is coming in at a scratchy uh, 40 to 50 signal. It's going to be a piece of a pocket knife. I believe. Wait, no, maybe not. I don't know. It's a big old piece of brass and copper. A couple rivets in it. And a hole there in the middle. If you know, post below, probably some type of leather work or something. All right, see you at the next. All right, folks, we're back. Next target out of the ground. It's going to be an old iron knife blade. Definitely been there for a while. All right. All right, guys. Back in all this brush and stuff right below me is where I found the buffalo nickel and the barber quarter. I found the tokens right on the other side of this log. And here, we got an overall button. Looks like it's going to have something on it. Yeah, it's going to have a little clover on it. That's cool. Alright. A little clover or iron cross. I'm not sure which. On to the next. Alright, folks. We're back. and Just underneath the surface. Looks like we're going to have our first coin. I think it's going to be a sweetie weedy. I see Lincoln, yep. Yep, sweetie weedy. There would be Lincoln, right there. And there's our one cent side. Alright, first coin of the day. Alright guys, I don't know if you guys see that. Right here, I'm gonna have another coin. Ooh, I dropped it. Where'd she go? Good thing we got a pinpointer, huh? No, it took me more time to find it that time than it did the first time, huh? Let's see what we're gonna have. Looks like gonna have another sweetie weedy. Alright, it's gonna be hard to get date off this one. I couldn't get one off the last one either. 1917, maybe? I'm not real sure. You guys see? Alright, two coins for the day. Alright, folks, our next target's gonna be the top of a salt and pepper shaker. Came up just like a weedy would. On to the next. Alright, folks, got our next target. It's gonna be a old coal company tag. These are always nice relics. Looks like we're gonna have a 99. That's cool. Heck yeah. Alright, folks, see you on the next. 
All right, folks, right here. Looks like we're going to have another coin. It's just two inches down. Oh, this is an Indian, guys. Heck yes. I was hoping we'd find an Indian. All right, guys. She ain't in the best condition, don't look like. Right there's the one cent. There's the chief. There's Lady Liberty. There you go. Heck yeah. And you hit a penny. It's rough. We ain't gonna be able to get a date off of it. But if there's weedies and Indians, there might be another silver in here. So, fingers crossed, guys. There's something I don't find too often out in the woods. I've been part of a screen door. Huh. Pretty cool. Alright, folks. Here's our next target. It's gonna be a little green piece of leather ribbit. Okay, folks. We are back. Right there is the cellar hole. As you can see, I got a bunch of stacked stone all around me. Right in between the stones, had a 80 signal, and I seen a coin right there. Oh, nope, that's a button. Huh. Button missing the shank. Heck yeah, I'll take a button. I mean, that rang up high. It says something on it. Not sure what. Huh. Alright, cool. We got a button. Alright, just off the lip of the cellar hole, we're going to have some mantle clock uh, movement plates. These are the band why I made the clock tick and tell time. Alright, see you on the next. This will have all the gears. Alright guys, that's going to do it for me. Been out here about two hours after work today. I went and painted a living room and a bathroom. Uh, put first and coat on. I'm going to put the second coat on tomorrow and then... uh. Yeah, I had nothing else to do today, so I figured I'd come to the tech and did pretty good. Got a weedy spoon, or two weedies, spoon, a bunch of trash, and uh, an Indian. So all in all, it was a good day for me. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching.